sums them up. I left school with the qualifications of all my GCSEs at the standard I needed to do the mechanics course at college. Once I left college, I was at the qualification of a level two IMI and vehicle maintenance. And now I'm doing my level three IMI and vehicle maintenance as an apprentice at Treadfirst. Well, once I got my GCSEs out of the way, I decided that I didn't really want to do a desk job. So this job was really good because you're sort of outdoors, working the whole time. And I thought it would be a good thing to get into because Dad had always been into like fixing his motorbikes and everything. I heard about apprenticeships through a couple of friends that were doing them for different courses and they said it was the best route for them. So I thought once I'd left school, I'd go to college, do a couple of years there. And they said that it was a better way for me to learn with the hands-on experience. So from then, I thought I'd get into it. Started off at work part-time as well as college to see whether I'd like it. Asked them if I was allowed to do an apprenticeship. Got them to talk to the bosses, make sure it was okay. Went to college, asked them if I was allowed to do it. And then from there, college set the whole thing up. It's quite good being an apprentice because it's the best of both worlds really. You're learning, getting paid for it and getting the knowledge from everybody else who's teaching you things that you need to know. Being an apprentice, you usually get a set wage. But being here, I'm getting more than what the average apprenticeship wage is. I prefer being an apprentice than being at college because there's less sitting around in classrooms with the paperwork side of things. You're learning all of that as you're doing the job, being an apprentice. You don't need to go to and from college to be assessed. Your assessor comes out to watch what you're doing, reports back to the board so everybody knows how you're coping being in the work environment. I start the day at 8 o'clock. Um, my day usually consists of some servicing, some break work and repairs. And all of that's enjoyable because it's still the side of mechanics that I wanted to get into. Once my apprenticeship's finished, I've got two choices of either doing a level four as an apprentice or going into work full time. But I'm hoping that I'll be able to do the level four as an apprentice to get an extra qualification in case I wanted to move on from this job and get another one. Working in a male-dominated environment isn't all bad because I started off with being the only girl at college so I was sort of used to it by the time I got into work. I think other women should follow this route because it is quite a good route to take. You're learning and it's a good experience for you.